Oh shit. The book seems closed. You've seen too much. What profane knowledge is now seared inside of you? Damn it all! A Kithrak demanded my head! I should have given him yours. Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Baldur's Gate 3 on our channel. So after ending last episode, I went back and I went back to check if we missed anything, and we did. Uh, around the hags layer, there was a guy that was connected to Asturian. So I exchanged will for Asturian in my party and went to talk to him. And apparently he is a bounty hunter or a vampire hunter who's looking for Asterian. So we obviously didn't tell him that he is Asterian and we didn't kill him either. We let him go. And I recorded that part which I will be added here and which I'll be adding here now because I didn't uh, do it in the last episode. <laughs> Ah, stranger. Forgive the aroma. You catch a waft of something foul, metallic, and sickly sweet. Powdered iron vine. An old hunter's trick. Most monsters will think twice before making a meal of me. You're a monster hunter. I'm surprised. I thought all girl were vagrant cutthroats. mystical and dangerous people. We travel the land, never settling in one place. We steal your chickens, curse your crops, seduce your daughters. Your friend here has heard it all, I'm sure. Now, I wish I had half the power settled folk think my people possess. Alas, I am a simple wanderer. A simple wanderer and monster hunter. But I'm no witch doctor or cutthroat. Or to make a deal with her. <laughs> Probably think you can outfox the old dear. Right, but very wrong. My prey is a vampire spawn, much less impressive than the beast that lives here. His name is Astarian, but I fear he's gone to ground. I was hoping the hag of these lands could help me flush him out, but it seems she is no more. Not this time. My orders are to capture him. Oh. Uh, and bring him where, exactly? Baldur's Gate. My people wait for me there. I don't know. I'm sure a vampire spawn could still rip out your throat if he felt like it. He is right, unfortunately. They are only weak when compared to their masters. During the day, we have the advantage. But at night, when they hunt, you'll not find a more deadly quarry. We've all survived so far. Let's focus on that. It would still be wise to post guards at night. The threat is real. Indeed it is. We should do something about this threat. Wait, that's it. We're just walking away. Fine, but if this comes back to bite us, it's on your head. Go in peace, my friends. I pray our paths cross again. 
They better bloody not. something so it would seem hopefully he bumps into some knolls while stumbling around at night and that's the last we hear from him I didn't do anything I was kidnapped just like you it seems Casador wants me back Casador Tsar is a vampire lord in Baldur's Gate the patriarch of his coven, and a monster obsessed with power. He turned me nearly 200 years ago. I became his spawn, and he became my tormentor. It was him, I'm sure. Only he would know to send the girl after me. It was a group of Gur that attacked me that night in Baldur's Gate. I would have died had Kazador not appeared and saved me. Maybe. Maybe he was just drawn to the smell of blood. The point is, I have history with these barbarians. Casador's sending a message. He's reminding me of his power. Even in the middle of nowhere, he can reach me. And he wants me back. Maybe he wants to make an example of me, to show what happens to runaways. Or maybe he thinks death is too good for me. <laughs> safe! You think I'm safe? Do you know the power a vampire lord possesses? He can change shape, turn into mist, call walls to do his bidding, shrug off blows like they're nothing. He could walk into our camp tonight and kill you with his bare hands. And you'd be lucky if death was the worst thing that happened to you. First, we have to... Uh, uh, I don't know. Well, if we kill his lackeys, he'll just send more. We just have to be vigilant, keep our wits about us, and kill any monster hunters on sight. I won't lie. It's tempting. If I keep the tadpole, I risk transforming into a grotesque monster. If I lose the tadpole, Casador has control of me, body and soul, and I return to the shadows. It's grim either way. So why not sell what's left of my soul to a devil? Better he has it than Casador. I'm glad to hear it. Whatever's coming, we need to keep our options open. Looking at something. I'm looking too, but not seeing very much. Another quirk of my affliction. Preening in the looking glass. Petty vanity. Of course I miss it. I've never even seen this face. Not since it grew fangs and my eyes turned red. I... I don't know. I can't remember. 
My face is just some dark shape in my past. Another thing I've lost. And what do you see, exactly? Oh, go on. Very good. Now just tell me I'm beautiful and we can call it a day. Observant. Mirrors aren't much use, but being reflected in someone else's eyes? Well, I could do worse. Seems the Githyanki are keen to reclaim the artifact I carry. I can't afford that to happen. In fact, none of us can. That thing is shielding us somehow. I don't want to know what happens if we lose it. Agreed. There's not much we can do but press forward. I was hoping you'd come to chat. What do you need? Fine. What's on your mind? I suppose some would commend our actions. Goblins would have raised that whole place to nothing if it weren't for us. No excuse to rest on our laurels, though. We've still got our own problems to contend with. Quite splendidly, to give credit where it's due. You and I have shared some good times together, and it seems we have plenty in common. Very serious of you, but go ahead. It's strange. I've been dwelling on what I told you before about wanting to become a Dark Justicia. But perhaps I should be content with my lot. I'm already blessed to have you at my side, after all. You already know my biggest secret. What more can you ask? What? Besides my life's calling and the greatest problem I've ever faced? Well, I like night orchids and can't swim. Is that the sort of thing you meant? It's a deal. No. I can't. Quite literally, I mean. With my memories suppressed, I can't betray Shah's secrets. And I can't remember much of myself, either. If I manage to return to Baldur's Gate and fulfill Shah's mission, then my memories will be restored. What's next, I wonder? Watch your back.
Best get going. Okay, so we'll be talking to him now and see if he has any more dialogue about it. I suppose you want to hear about Casador. My old master. Before the mind flayers took me from him. Before this strange, twisted freedom. Casador Tsar is a vampire lord in Baldur's Gate. The patriarch of his coven, and a monster obsessed with power. Not political power or military power, I mean power over people. The power to control them completely. He turned me nearly 200 years ago. I became his spawn. And he became my tormentor. Not him, no. A gang of thugs attacked me, angry about a ruling that I'd handed down as magistrate. They beat me to death's door when Casador appeared. He chased them off and offered to save me, to give me eternal life. Given that my choices were eternal life or bleed to death on the street, I took him up on the offer. It was only afterwards I realized just how long eternity could be. A vampire's spawn is less than a slave. They're a puppet. We have no choice but to obey our master's commands. They speak, and our bodies react. It's all part of the deal. Sometimes he'd order us to submit to torture. Sometimes he'd have us torture ourselves. Whatever his weather vane mood settled on. Thank you. But this isn't about sympathy. It's about knowing what we might be up against. The Mind Flayers aren't the only monsters out there. They're not even the only ones hunting us. All I'm asking is that you keep your eyes open and watch out for anything lurking in the shadows. What more could I ask? Now, is that all? Hmm. That's the interesting lore. Uh, this is a complete new type of how vampire works for me. And what I've read so far, obviously I have not much knowledge about Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, obviously, they are, for them the rules are different. For their world, how vampire works or how other which is another stuff works so it's really interesting about finding out about that so we'll keep Astarian in our party for now instead of Gale and Lazel instead of Karlak and we'll see how it goes I'm still not sure how to use Astarian properly and if I'm having trouble I'll switch him back for Gale now uh, let's see something I've Let's go to the druid group and buy some health potions and then we'll... Then we'll explore the underdark before we go for the mountain pass and to Lazel Crest to get Yank Crest. Feed if you must, Astarian. Give me so much as a hungry look, and I'll drive a stake through your heart. Mm. I do so very like spicy food. Mm. 
Hold on, I want to see something. Do I can I still do that quest if I um did investigate Kaga because I finished the uh, goblin quest before I investigate I found the letter about her. Travel has chased uh pray she do I still have that or did I sell that? Blueprint don't think I sell that. I sold that do I throw in druid note. Uh, yeah, not this one. What this is? Hmm. Uh, not this one either. Uh, forces of brothers gave the meaning Ronald inventory killed us four of the agents now. I've talked, not yet at least. Uh, not this one. Do I? I don't think I still have that. Not this one. Oops. Oh, oh, later to cough that one. That one hard to do. Go. Yeah, this. This is the one thing that I needed. Yeah, okay, let's buy some arrow uh, later. Let's go and see if we can still do that quest. So, you and Lazel, I swear that I was his gaze is following me. I'll talk to that ox later when he come back. I think the dude that gave us that quest is here. Yeah. Now that Halsin is here, Korga will surely see sense. I hope whatever rot was lurking in her heart can be swiftly cut away. That explains a great deal to think that Korga could fall to their corruption under Sylvanus's gaze but I will leave that for Halsin to judge he is first druid and I will not gainsay him as Korga has done hmm okay so Can I tell Halsin then? I think I should have done that before. Okay, this is the ox you that. Well, but you're so. E. Uh, okay, okay. I thought this something's was... off. This creature isn't what it appears to be. Mo. Mo. Okay, I don't want to attack and aggro the whole camp. Okay, let's buy some health potion from him. It'll take a while for us all to recover. Yeah, uh, sure thing. I already have four scrolls of revival. I don't no need more. Uh, do you have any new armor? Gain plus one bonus to dexterity and saving throws. It's kind of cool. Uh, rare light armor. 
I can buy that one for a stallion, I guess. You take two less dodging damage. What is this? Oh, this is uh, 16. Plus one bonus to strength and saving throws and checks. Disadvantage and stealth checks. I did really hit the Githyan camera. That's why I was uh, searching for something better. Uh, disadvantage and stealth checks. Superior material. You take less on slashing damage. Plus one dexterity. Medium. I guess I can buy this one. Okay, how much is this? Uh, 320 gold. Huh? I guess I can spare that. What's this? Uh, no, no, no. You have a chain mail armor. No, yeah, yeah, this. No, it's the bonus from dexterity, heavy armor. Nah. Yeah, let's get this one. And let's see what I can sell from him. Can sell you. What's this? Sword of Justice. Yeah, I can sell you. Okay, that doesn't. Yeah, yeah, sure thing. Okay, much better. Peace. Still can't talk to her. Okay, let's save the game. Halzin, where is Halzin? Can I tell him about Kaga? You wish to speak? No. Can't tell him. Okay, no worries. Uh, let's leave the camp. Okay, let's see. Go to Lazel. Hello, what are two Australian have none? Okay, let's keep two to Australian. Okay, this color looks better. Hmm. Have been so long poking about down here. I'd much rather be outside with the sun on my skin. You've only just come to tolerate sun, and you're already nostalgic. If you're going to complain the whole way, by all means, return topside. You could use the color. Okay, let's see how things goes with Astarian.
Okay, how do I get down there? That's what I was confused about. Okay, this way. Oh my god. Holy... What is that? That scared the... Are you okay, Shadowheart? God, that scared me so much. Ow! What is that? Uh, what are those? Are those explosives? I'm ready. Whatever it takes. Yep. 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 Have a lot on my mind. Damask and torch stalks. Hell of a combination. Get confused by one, blown up by the other. Huh. Goblins are such vile little parasites. What? Okay, I can go that Given way. Your own nature, are you really or the one to way. judge? Hello there. Who are you? Swallowed by a chorus of turbulent music. Through one creature sing many voices. The harmony of an entire collective. Sovereign, he has come. He is here. The choir fades. A single melody rises above the others, brassy and commanding. I am sovereign. You see a vision, your lifeless body wrapped in fungal tendrils. The sovereign is threatening you. State your purpose. Hmm. I am traveling seeking adventure. We'll be civil. Just don't be one. Ah, yeah, okay. Fungal roots weave through your mind, seeking your true intent. Then the sovereign drones a new melody, cautious but welcoming. Descend to me. Let us speak in flesh. The persistent music coaxes you forward. The sovereign expects you. Hmm. Okay. Mm. Let's go talk to him. Oh. Mm. Hello. Fungus and mold glaze the grotesque creature's face and body. A voice drifts into your mind as you gaze upon the misshapen servant. Leave this one. Come to me. We must speak. Okay. Which one is the sovereign? Waypoint discovered. Where? How? Oh. That's cool. Oh. Okay. Her condition is familiar. Poison, derived from a wild weed common to the Underdark. She'll need an antidote soon, most likely held by the Poisoner. I... I have an antidote, right? Whatever that is, I needed it. 
Why are you helping me? Well, I'm a paladin. That's what I do. How? Oh. No arguments there. Felt like a hook horror was sorting through my guts. But <clears throat> that cure did the trick. Quick shot too. I thank you for your help, but I gotta get moving. Oh, it hurts. Carl's garters. Oh, I don't have time for this. My kin need me. Seems you're the helping kind. All right. I need you to rescue my kin. Not charity, mind. We can pay. We're Iron Hand Clan. Best artificers in Baldur's Gate. We were on an expedition down here when the Dwergar snatched us up. I got away, but not the others. The Greys have them digging out some old ruin across the lake. Hmm. Some dusty temple. It doesn't matter. They'll work my clan to death before they ever get near it. Just mining for materials. No, nothing unusual. The briefest hesitation, but enough. She's lying. But our work pays well. Help my clan, and we'll make it worth your while. I swear. Oh. That's, uh... Okay. Let's... Fine. It's complicated, but my clan has trouble back in the city. A blood feud. We were searching for something to turn the tide. That's all I can say. But it's worth a lot to us. Understand? Hmm. Look, you've done me a good turn and you deserve the truth. But that's as much of it as I can tell. I swear it. If you need to go your own way, I respect that, but still, I'm asking. Thank you. Only wish I could go with you. But here. I nabbed these boots from the Greys when I ran. I'll feel better knowing you're using them to kick some Dwegger ass. I'll mark where I made my escape and uh, wait here, I suppose. Not much choice, eh? What is the creature doing to those corpses? The sovereign's thick fingers stroke the corpse at its feet. A droning melody greets you as the creature turns its gaze to you. Flesh talker, I show you a memory. Watch and listen. A violent vision grips you. Dwegger. Dark dwarves chopping myconid remains. They broke our peace. They killed our young. The sovereign's song slows to the pace of a dirge. It is still in mourning. We laid waste to many, but intruders remain. Lakewood. The Sovereign's song halts as it measures your worth. I sense your resolve. You will find Dwergar invaders near Lake's Edge. Cleanse the rot. Destroy them. Dwegar invaders? We can manage that. Better than picking this fight, surely. We breathe life into our enemy's flesh. The dead make a fine host for my growing children. Ooh. If I die down here, destroy my corpse. Don't worry. I wouldn't hesitate. <laughs> I love the little back and forth. <laughs> You may not. The 
spores hear only the circle. They dance to no other harmony. Deep purples swirl into familiar shapes. Gnomes in mining gear chased by Dwegar. The Dwegar seek a gnome. It is a guest. The Sovereign says nothing, but you hear appreciation in its song. The Sovereign gifts you one more vision, a wall of vines parting to reveal glowing light. Riches of magic and mind, cleanse the rot, and they are yours. You do the Circle a service. We will await word. All right then, so I love the design, so they are like a hive mind of some sort and these Dwegar, they are like what uh, draws to the elves dark dwarves Wow, okay this place is really beautiful no peace. All right Hello there. Ah, a visitor. You're a welcome sight. But let us observe the customs of the locals. The scholar's brow tenses. His voice spills into your skull. The spores connecting mind to mind. Blurg. Proud member of the Society of Brilliance at your service. <laughs> Or perhaps not. Mm, your mind is far more complex than that of the fungi. Uh, oh, he's a hobgoblin. I observed a fight from a distance. Combat is not my field of expertise, but the Myconids handled themselves well enough. My colleagues and I are working to improve conditions in the Underdark. This need not be such a dire, hostile place. It's curious to find a surface dweller here. What has brought you down so deep? I'm, I'm not going to tell him. Okay, okay. Then you've come to the right place. The hybridization among fungi in this circle is truly unique. Mm. Understandable. We are small in number and rarely stay in one place for long. The feeling is mutual, friend. I have only passing familiarity with the surface races. But I found that there is as much to learn from an individual as there is from a community. So it is with the Myconids. They live in harmonious unity, but each has a unique personality. Yes, but it has abundant natural resources. Spores, water orbs, Trillimac. I've studied them for years. This is not a wasteland. It is a glorious ecosystem. Every civilization here could thrive without conflict. I do enjoy a good bargain. If anything in my private collection is to your liking. Okay, let's see what you got. What is this? Uh, short sword, huh? 
the ability uh, the okay scorching ray gains lightning charges they also gain three temporarily hit points don't care what's this additional dirt when you request I can get this for Gale, I guess. Oof, 200. I'll see. We'll, I'll come back with Gale and see. Very well. I have mushrooms to catalog. Ah, the mushroom hunter. Have you made any new discoveries? Oh, a fascinating topic. May I ask the reason for your interest? Huh. I see. Well, it is the central act of mind flayer reproduction. A tadpole is inserted into a living humanoid, and in seven days, the host is consumed to produce a new illithid. A fascinating process, if a touch grim. Hmm. Should I tell him? You were infected by an illithid tadpole. It's a miracle you're still intact. You must be worried sick, but have no fear. I have a friend who may be able to assist. Omelium! I hope this is important, Berg. My Zerkwood samples need constant attention. It is. This adventurer has an illithid tadpole inside his head, but he hasn't turned. No ceramorphosis. That's impossible, but intriguing. Homilium. Are you Holy shit. Are you to have it extracted? Well, duh. Your head will make a fine trophy for my queen. Please hold. I understand your rage against my kin. One of my brethren forced a tadpole into your eye. Or ear, perhaps. But I assure you, I stand with the Society of Brilliance, not the colonies of my people. Hmm. Fool! They infest your head and invade your dreams, and still you would parley. I ask Calm down, only that you refrain from violence. I respect that your opinion of my kind may be charged. If that settles matters for the time being, would you like a diagnosis? Open your mind to me. Let us see what lurks within. Huh. Okay. Another step. And I just in case. As the mellow one's mind pierces yours, the tadpole pulses with power. It feels ten times its size. Alive. Awake. Almost smug. This is most unusual. The incubation period should be complete, as should your transformation. But the lava is infused with strange magic. It appears to be in some form of stasis. I can only theorize, but I suspect your transformation would be both agonizing and instantaneous. I thought it was always agonizing, Amelium. Well, yes, but that wasn't my point. No, it appears to be shielded from physical and magical influence. And even without the shield, the extraction would involve severe cranial trauma. I intend no disrespect, but one can only heal so much of their own brain tissue. 
but not to worry. Should you transform, I will happily perform a new examination. Uh, no, thank you. Strange man. Should I trust him in what I'm a going to? Boy. Fascinating. I have never set foot on one myself. They were our warships during the greatest eras of the Illithid Empire. We ruled the entire astral plane from their decks. The design was lost when the Gith rebelled and ended our dominion. Of course. I am sorry I cannot assist you in its removal. But I have an idea. Oh, perhaps I should start taking notes. There may be a way to bypass that stasis. There are many alchemical substances that can influence the mind. Hmm. I do not intend to shatter its protection. I need only bypass the interference that prevents me from communicating with the lava. A tincture distilled from a collection of rare mushrooms. They have subtle psionic influence. I would require a fresh tongue of madness and timusk spores. But be warned, in their natural state, both of these mushrooms can be quite dangerous. Timusks cause confusion in those that approach them. The tongue is self-explanatory. The Underdark, of course, although they are quite rare, and their discovery perilous. Hmm. I imagine Lenore would have them in her possession. She served Mistra as a cleric. She is quite fond of her garden. Lenore has always been a lonely sort. Nature was her only companion. I offered her the chance to join the society, but she refused. Her experiments on Sousa Bark took priority. My formula will hamper the more harmful effects once the mushrooms are brewed into a potion. Your sanity, however much you possess, should remain intact. May your travels be safe and swift. All right. I have never seen anything like it, Blur. Is my species evolved? Okay, let's see. Uh, what are these? Kill the Duregar. Free the Deep Gnome. What is this? Arcane Tower, huh? Goblin camp. Okay. Uh, let's see. Where did we not go? Okay, I can't take any of these. Don't want to turn any of them hostile. Flesh walker. Tongue talker. Far you've come. Reach into memory. Tell me of home.
It reveals its own home in reply. A humid cove filled with decaying myconid corpses. Dwega destroyed my people. I am a sovereign with no circle. This circle does not welcome me. But I have heard the song. You mean to cleanse the Dwergar rot. I mean to join you. Sure thing. Remain in the Underdark, and I will follow. We cleanse the rot together. Okay, so I can't do anything else. Very good. Okay, uh, what way should I go? I can go from up here okay let's see if this is a fight I would like to keep a starion up here excuse me what is that you know what let's keep a starion up here because I need to sneak I already have four people. A camp looks abandoned. Okay, I can go up here. What is that? These creatures did battle with Dwergar. Huh. that oh they're just the uh, mushrooms no the creepy village Okay, I straight come back. sword hmm
Let's pick these things up. Uh, who knows when I'll be needing them. this way huh uh, okay that uh, gnome gave me some kind of boot while well, you're consulting you can get knocked out of prone okay this is pretty interesting uh, let's give them to a starian Why aren't you proficient with this one? This is a finesse weapon, right? He should be proficient. Uh, anyway. No one stopped me yet. Let's go. What kind of way? Uh, damage? Holy sh! Part turn six to twenty-six. Twelve to fifty-two. I shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. I smell a trap. Where? What? Gek! Got someone sneaking up on us! Get in your head. My axe will fix that in no time. All right then. Uh, where is that? I have uh, advantage. Hmm. For ten turns, huh? Where's Lazel? Blood comes easy these days. How? I'm ready. Can't give up, not now.
Hmm. Focus on your hands and force them to. Okay. Ay, ay, ay.
Prone, prone to what? Oh, you piece of... Should not have Weapon discovered. This is something else. The tumor is excised. The Dwega are dead. Here I break ground. From the dark will a mighty circle rise. My song will fill the grotto. Death doer. The grotto may sustain but one sovereign. What? In the age of glut, there may be no spore. Eliminate the other sovereign. Uh, I think I should have rested or healed Shalavad is really low You 
shall never again know home. All right then. Shadow heart, uh, I need you to heal yourself. Where is the healing spell? What is this? Healing for five. Mm. Calm down. My god, 104. Okay. Waiting for us. Way to go still. Can't give up now. Hmm. Shadow. Such a grim name for such a beautiful flower. Could you not stare so blatantly in my neck when you say that, please? Uh, oh, a water time is later to be uh. so love that. Tling, tling. Okay. Uh, let's go up and loot them, then I'll explore this area. New axe. Uh, where is that? Oh, here. 5 to 21, huh? Okay, okay, see you. Uh, okay, what if I get this one? Uh, is this a 200 weapon? Uh, 
An axe isn't 200 weapon anywhere. Huh. Yeah, let's let's use that for a while. Okay, I think I am over cucumber dog. Let's send some stuff back home. Uh, what is this? Sword of fast blood. Let's keep. Uh, I have this helmet that I found. This is looks stupid. Yeah, this looks stupid. I don't care about stat. Oh, what is this? No. Okay, let's send some stuff back home. Don't need this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. Here, this. What is this? Let's keep this. Uh, send you back, you back. Okay, better. What? Okay, why am I doing all the looting? Come here, Lazel. Loot these things. This is free the Dipnom, so yeah, let's do that. Uh, not let's with you, going. with me. <coughs> no, 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 I didn't mean That's to use that. Oh my god. On the lake's murky waters. Okay, thank you. I I don't I don't know. Let's uh, see what else do I have left? Empty. Okay, the fast travel point is there, right? Okay, so let's see. Uh, let's see some things. You do 7 to 20, I have 5 to 21 for that X. Uh, no, you don't, you're bad. Yes, let's send them to camp. And no, let's keep the Githyanki sword. Okay, let's skip this one and you go to camp. Need to use these things more. Okay, let's set the game. And or maybe hold on a second. Uh, and then 
Yeah, let's go to Mechanoid Colony and tell the Sovereign about the Duregar. It greets you with a harrowing elegy, cheerless as the new moon. The music shifts, still melancholic, but now streaked with hope. Do you hear a new harmony? Serenity. I name you Peace Bringer. Fragrant spores waft through the air. Your heart swells with bliss with your every breath. Freely you have given to us. Freely you may take. The Guardian Gate is open. Go and claim your reward. And where is this gate exactly? This, I have another boon to ask of you. You have cut out the Dwergarb light, but not its source. In your mind's eye, Spore shows you a drow, striding among Myconid dead. Near, this one is called. He hunted us. Hunt him in turn. Bring me his head, and I will know my circle is safe. More busy work. That's royalty for you. Everyone's their servant. The drow lurks in the ruins beyond the lake. Bring him death and return. Okay, let's see. What is this? With Yankee Crash. It's the sovereign's refuge. Uh, what is this? Wrong way. This way. Which way is the sovereign's refuge or whatever that is? This way? And where is this gate that said was opened? Hello there, who are you? Seems the shrooms are letting in more people every day. You see a fella on his own on your way in. Dwarf. Balin's his name. Bald. Blue tunic. Dumb as a stick. Right. Never mind. Knock yourself out, but don't come begging for coin if you find him. You try to ransom him to me, you'll find yourself skint and stuck with a fat old lout. My useless husband. Sent him for an errand. It's no surprise he's made a mess of it. Okay, let's see what you got. Huh. I already have a better crossbow, don't care. Already have a better crossbow. Hmm. 
Oh, this is this thing is open. Flump mating rituals. An odd book for a drought to carry. This is nothing. Really, that's it? Fine Bailey, no? This way. No, not this. Way. Okay, yeah, go then this way. Hmm. What are those? What's next? Shadow heart, come here, come here, everyone. Yeah, now stand here. Don't move. What are those? Oh, those things again. Okay, I don't have any frozen. Oh, I don't have a gale in my party. Okay, better. Is that a minotaur? What is that? Holy shit, what are you? Hmm. You know what? No point in going there. Let Our him me. come here. Let's uh What 
taking position. Oh no 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 no! Health. We're attracting too much attention. Shit 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 shit. Ah, uh, should have done that before. Talk to me. Uh. What is this thing? Hook horror? Okay. Uh, Balin is up here. Take some bark from the. He is the master of equipment. Search of tree. Uh, whatever that is. Oh, there's more things. Time to rest. I have you. One. Ah, oh, you are the drow. Okay, okay, okay. So let's see how are we going to do this. I need advantage. Okay, there's one. Hmm. Okay, I need to do this properly without uh, alerting everyone.
Bitch, queen, shan take me my joy. Ahoy. Okay, did I accidentally attack the wrong uh, draw? I don't think so. Hold on a second. Uh, explode the underdark. <laughs> Deliver. Oh no, I think I am accident accidentally. This is nerd. Near said. Mushroom. Save the. Cream Forge gnomes. Yeah, no, I think I think I attacked the wrong thing. Well, it is what it is. So he was a draw, but not the one we are looking for.
Be quick. Another fight. Let's go. What? What just happened? No idea. Yeah, let's let him come here. Yeah. Where's the range attack option? Try me. But no point in. It seems that book on flumps was not all it appeared to be. Over here. Ready. On the move. You mind coming here, bud? Wow, this is so cool. This place is amazing. Don't know why I will need them, but I'll pick them up anyway. Let's go up. Let's see what I missed. Fish, fish, pouch, tatter scroll. Let's just grab that. Who knows? If I need it by, by any chance, I don't have to. Uh, 
Ah, uh, I can't pick it up. Okay, there you go, that. Okay. Now we can go. Huh. Oh my god, what is that? What? Okay. On my way. See nothing. Whatever that is. Jesus Christ, what is that? Sometimes the only way out is through. It's not a humanoid. He changes all aspects of your appearance. Blaze. Okay, Shadow Hard, hold on, hold on. Really? 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 Three miss? Come on! Oh 
Hold on, Shadow Guard. Here we go again. Got to focus. Down with you. Ah. Uh. Enough sitting around. Let's go hurt someone. I've got another route ahead. My energy wanes. Time to rest. There is work to do. Looking ahead. All's well that ends. No, not as bad as it could have. Okay, let's see. New armor, huh? I would have uh, laser. Really? Everyone missed? Come on, guys. What am I missing here? The rock under your feet juts upwards, forming a perfectly engraved tombstone with a small epitaph. In memory of Myrna, a shining light in this dark world. May you forever gaze upon the lake you love to play in. Should I? I already saved it. Why not? You know. As you uh. dig, you slowly expose the skeletal remains of a large dog wearing a chunky leather collar. Strange collar. It's got rooms all over it. I wonder what they say. Let's see what that say. Hey. Okay, what is this? Can I combine it with the IC crystal? Anyway, the collar. I'll see later. What am I missing there? Where is the collar? Collar. Ah, there. The name mine is engraved. Okay, let's see what else is here. Yeah, this is the yeah. I already did this. I mean, the where I kill the two records. I'll be back for that boat thing. I think that looked like that's a big thing. I don't want to accidentally uh, trigger something big that I don't want to do right now. Okay, let's see. Oh, I forgot to take the tree. But No, I don't want to kill you. You're already dead. It. I've got the plan. 
ruins of the Susa Bark. Now I need somewhere to craft it all. Yeah, I know how to craft it all. That uh, thing. The forge of the blacksmith's house should do. Okay, let's go and try to save Balin and then we'll call it. Uh, how do I go down there? What am I missing here? Uh, oh, this. I'm missing this. <laughs> Sometimes uh, playing on controller is so hard. Okay, so. Hold on a second. I don't think I can just blow this up. What he. Uh, he kills him. Let's play it, everyone. Stay here. Stop! Stop! Biberbang! Biberbang? Recognize the name. Biberbang. Mushroom that releases dangerous spores, highly flammable. Hmm. Please, you help scroll escape my bag. Please, I've dropped it somewhere. Dude, screw your bag, just get out of there. Thank God didn't use the elixir. I'm already ending. Ah! Oh, I'm fine. I just have to, and then here. God, I can finally breathe. As, uh, what were you saying? Damn it! I must need to go for you. Your trouble. Ta. Ta. Just have to. Where'd it go? I could have sworn I had that scroll. Okay, now that he's gone, Shadow Hurt. Hold on. No, everyone come here. Everyone come around here. Spree's madness. What?
What is happening? Okay, let's go back. My useless old man back. I suppose that's your doing. His hands are empty as a whole. We'll have to send him back out soon enough. Mm, this has been the search. Collecting noble stock. Valuable mushroom. We have a shop in Boulder's Gate. The locals go mad for it. Nearly nothing it can't cure. Blindness, poison, hair loss. I'll go myself. Sure thing. Okay, let's see. Gloves, huh? Uh, Reduce an additional only for damage with throw attacks, huh? Throw attacks. Don't care about throw attacks. Okay, these two I can combine. I think something else goes with them. What? Does that? Okay, let's see. Uh, years of terror. For what? Whoa, what do I need? Thulia and Minton asked you to. Okay, no. Uh, Yeah, I can. I can forge. Hold on. And turn instruments to power to Moonrise Tower. Find a cure. Okay. Amelium requests a tongue of madness mushroom and some Timoth force. Oh no, I think I misread that. Hold on. Uh, the towers belongs to a cleric of Mistra named Leno. Gardening. We'll be clearing out soon enough. You come across a noble stock mushroom about, you give it here. Gods know I've earned it. We have a shop in Boulder's Gate. The look. We'll be clear. You come across a noble stock mushroom about. You give it here. Gods know I've earned it. We moss. Sir, have you Hey, whatever. Ok, 
Okay, I think I need to go there now. Although I'm fully healed, I think this is going to be a big thing and I need all my potions and stuff for this. Uh, can I go this? I... Oh, I can go that way too. Yeah, let's see what there is. Uh... Nothing. Let's go to bed, then we'll... Soldier? Need something? Huh. So, that's what people mean when they talk about butterflies in their stomach. Did you want something? Pain is the gauntlet that all who love Lady Shah must endure. Only her embrace can truly heal me. To try and salve myself would do nothing but shame me in the Night Singer's eyes. All right. Uh, oh, oh, okay, okay. I thought I failed that. Perhaps you're right. But there's little we can do about it just now. Maybe a way will present itself in time if Lady Shah wills it. I want to see something. Careful, I bite. Medium, huh? At least things have stayed interesting. Speak quickly. Quickly. No, okay, still want to win my party. Hers will. 
the Gif Knight is as merciless as the dragon he rides. That we still have our heads is nothing short of a miracle. Not so enchanting as you'd think. The poor tears, the cold wells, they were the blue bloods hosting the fancy balls and drinking from gold goblets. Father's the son of a blacksmith, born with barely a coin in the coffers. He made a name for himself among the flaming fist, brave as Balderan, stubborn as a deep rofe, daring, outspoken, but hardly posh. <laughs> I spent more time dueling with father than I did rubbing elbows with lords. Not to say I didn't develop a taste for good wine and the talent for courtly dance. Here, here. Though, truth be told, I'd sooner down a weak old hooch at a ramshackle inn. Better company, and a better buzz. What? Go ahead. I'm listening. Let's see. Okay, let's give these two. Carlac. Let's keep them in getting them if we need it by chance. What is this? Hmm. This, this, this is unclothing, huh? You can give this to Carlac too. Let's give what is this? Why can't I send them to camp? What? Okay, I can't change it unless she's in my party. No worries. Uh... Let's move. Okay, let's go to bed. For me. Ah, my good fellow. Quite the cozy setup you have here. I'll just make myself come. My research turned up a rather brilliant technique that seems quite actionable. It's not too deep. Just behind the orbital socket. I could attempt an extraction. I've a needle in my tunic, after all. Ah. Uh. You know what? Let's... Let's go with this, see what happens. I saw you. I've dreamt of it a thousand times over.
Sure. Vuk carefully holds one of your eyes open and begins to prod uncertainly with the needle. Hey. The needle finds the gap between eyeball and socket. Volo frowns and begins to push. Ay, 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 ay. Through your body as the needle snags on your optic nerve. I have it. The needle seesaws back and forth, plucking the nerve like a harp string. Oh, bother. There's some obstacle in the way. I shall need a more robust implement. Volo carefully withdraws the needle from your eye, then reaching into his bag. He produces uh. an ice pick. You know Volo what? Let's go with it. Pick if I die, I will reload it. Now. Cold metal presses against the skin beneath oh. your brow. And then... Tap, tap, stab. Do you feel that? Ha! Huh. I think we have the blighter on the run! I agree. It's a feisty critter. Am Just I dead? Go further. Volo tears the pick from your brain with a violent jerk. Your eye plops down into the mud. Tret. He pauses, looks down at your eye, and recoils slightly as it sinks into the mud. Am I dead? I'm not dead. There appears to be an amount of cosmetic damage. You mean, I mean, I don't have my eye. Please, try not to overexert yourself. You're in a rather fragile state at present. I can't help but feel partly responsible. Perhaps there is something more I can do. Take this, a far superior relic to that old jelly you were chained to. Try it on for size. And, um, it was very nice to have met you. I'm sure you'll sort out your little brain problem one way or another. Far away from here, if you've a heart. Terribly sorry, my friend. Ta. Really? See invisibility? Okay. What am I to do? I still have exceptional liquor. I'm not going to reload. Invisibility is nice. I was hoping you'd come to chat. What do you need? Do you have a problem that I uh, don't have my eye? No. And Volo is gone. How do I look? Uh, my eyes still look the same. You know what? I'm going to keep it. I have invisibility. And I. Uh, although I want my. Uh, Eager for battle. Improvement with everyone. Hi. No. Never mind. Okay, so that was another fruitful episode. We will continue to explore the Underdark on our next episode. And we will try to finish the gnome mission and kill the other drow the, uh, that the sovereign told us to bring the head for. And that will be it for today's episode. Thank you for joining everyone. If you like it, please like and subscribe to our channel. It helps a lot. And we will see you again next time. Bye.